Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting The Last Campfire. This is a cool little puzzle game that uh, I've had my eye on for a while, but there wasn't, just, just wasn't a good time to kind of slot it in, but now is a very, very good time, so. It's a neat little puzzle adventure game that's made by the developers of No Man's Sky and everything, so. Let's go ahead and hop in. I think I'm going to play this with controller. I've tried to launch this once and the game crashed when I launched, so... Hopefully that doesn't happen again. It was on this screen. The game was just like, no, no, I'm going to die, if you don't mind. Please don't die again. Okay, cool. Thank you. Got ourselves a little boat with fish, like, as big as our boat. I don't like that. I don't like when fish are as big as my boat or my person. That's, uh, scary. But yeah, I don't know a ton about this game. I I was basically just had my eye on it for a bit and was like, that looks cool. That That's on the list of things to play. It kind of reminded me of, like, little nightmares and stuff, but, um... Uh, I might just be getting the wrong idea, just based off of the uh, pictures. But I really like Little Nightmares, so that's a cool game. I don't think I'm going to be running from monsters or anything in this, though. I think this is mostly just about exploration and such. Alright, we got some ruins and stuff. Seems like we're just explorers. Okay. Yeah, I usually like to pay attention to cutscenes when that stuff's happening. If I if I try, there is a place where the lost embers go. If I try to if I try to focus on talking too much, I might miss integral things that are happening in the cutscene. So I had to like stop myself from talking there just so I could focus. As the light begins to fade. Hmm. Uh, am I supposed to be doing something? Oh, I pressed A. Okay. <laughs> I started moving my control stick and stuff. Ember ran, because standing still made them feel help- Oh, the audio kind of cut off there. I wonder if it's because I stepped over here? Like, I saw something appear over here. It has like a little book up in the top right. I don't know what that means in the little, like, it looks like a journal. Oh no, the web slowed me down. Get out of those. Alright, well, let's go. Apparently our character's name is Ember. The wall glistened. The painting showed Embers on a sacred journey. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So we're supposed to collect like people's lost souls or something? 
Hey, what's going on here? Hello. Emperor felt so afraid and alone that it was a relief to find someone to talk to. Um, I don't think that person's alive. Ember froze, almost too frightened to look away, when they noticed a small satchel. Stranger's satchel. Okay, I wonder what- Satchel felt heavy. Ember looked inside. The statue shone brightly in the light. Okay, so we got some kind of puzzle item, I'm guessing. But we got a little satchel now, look at us. Now we have the infinite inventory of an adventure game protagonist. There was a symbol on the floor. Hmm, well we don't have like a fire symbol yet. Is there anywhere we could have put this statue? Here? I don't think so. Oh well. Let's just let's just keep moving forward, why don't we? Hmm. Ember noticed something wrong. Okay, so we gotta turn it. Like that? Yeah. I did it. I did the very, very simple puzzle. Okay, and this is probably where we slot in the statue? There was a round space where something used to fit. Golden figure. To Ember's delight, the golden statue slid perfectly into place. Oh no. Mm, whole day to pick up a piece, okay. There we go. Just gotta move some trees out of the way. Get out of here, you dumb trees. I didn't know this game was going to have voice acting, but I like it. It's cool. It kind of reminds me of Bastion in Transistor. How there's always a character, like, narrating. Ember left, feeling sorry for the stranger now alone in the dark. Oof, it is a very Stairway pretty game. Opened into a dark forest. It is. could feel fear taking over. They'd washed up alone, somewhere very unfamiliar. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I kept trying to talk, but then they kept having more to say, and I definitely, definitely don't want to talk over them. So, yeah, the game is very beautiful. I quite like the environments and everything. Can I get back here? I can if I go through there. Uh, there's nothing back here, though. No secrets for me. Hello, birdie. Where are you taking me? Ember felt like they were being watched. Oh, oh okay. I thought it meant like a, like a... When it, when it said dash, I thought it meant like a dodge roll or something. But no, it just means a, uh... A, uh, sprint. The path was blocked. Ugh! No, I don't like that. Go away. Go away, I don't like you. Oh, hello. The foxes howled into the night. The only reply was silence. Is that how foxes howl? I know foxes make weird noises, like they don't bark, but... Is that the noise they make? I don't know. Hello, wall. The route ahead was guarded by twin statues, choked by clinging vines. Okay, well, we're not going that way for now. As Ember approached, the flames seemed to call out. Guiding light, discovering a purpose, uh... With a feeling like falling, the forest had slipped away. Ember felt lost in darkness and ruin. Ooh, this is neat. This is neat. I like this. 
Ooh, we got like a little like puzzle challenge area. I love when stuff like this happens. Like there's just a small puzzle area and it's like, no, everything you need is right here. Solve the puzzle. I, I love instances like these. Okay, so we got that. Hmm. Not to say I'm good at them by by any stretch of the imagination. No, don't 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 think don't think my excitement is that. Don't think this means I'm any good at them, but I like them. <laughs> and that's what matters. Hmm. But you see, now the question is... Oh. Chain. Okay, I can probably climb back up with that. Yeah. Okay, so I moved the statue over here. Alright, well, I should have known. They're probably going to take it easy on me the first one. Which I'm I'm actually happy for, you know? I, I, I like not looking like an idiot. Despite what 90% of my videos show. <laughs> Boom. Hope was almost within reach. Almost, just not quite. Let's run. Sprint with those little legs, Ember. We must find out what is caged inside the cage. Redundant. The flame spoke and Ember listened. Hmm. Okay, I thought that was going to be a new power or something. Also, I heard something walking around on the grass or whatever. Maybe that was just the vines tearing apart? I'm not sure, but it was creepy. The flame lingered ahead. Did it now. Yeah, no, I'm holding B. Was it trying to escape? Oh, it was leading me somewhere. Or leading the way. Yes, that. Oh, hello, little friends. I would love to figure out how to get to you. The campfire flickered into life. The ghost spoke. Hope has returned to a forlorn. I will warm them until they choose to move on. Ember looked to the ghost for answers. Where am I? This is a place between places. To travel through as your light fades. But none have passed on in a long time. The Forest King now holds us here. And those who linger will turn forlorn. Again, that word. Forlorn. Forlorn? The forlorn are those who lost their way along the path. If you find them, send them to me and I will guide them. Who are you? I am just a guide along the way to fan the flame. So many lost embers have I seen. More than I could help. Ember thought of those they loved. Those they'd left behind. I want to help others. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. I want to move on. The Forest King watches the doors. The campfire will light the way. Find those who are lost. Bring embers to the fire. Help me. Step backwards, little ember. Look behind. Upon a small grassy cliff rests a forlorn. Okay, so that's just like a hint system. I guess. 
So that's interesting. So we're basically in like... Th this is the last journey we're supposed to take before we go to the afterlife, basically, is how I'm understanding this. And it's supposed to be a nice, serene way to, you know, like, kind of think about your life and have one last good memory before you before you go to the afterlife or whatever. And people are stuck here, like, something called the Forest King has basically turned this into a purgatory where people are just stuck. And can't either, they, they just can't ascend, basically. But yeah, how do I get to you, though? Because it says, yeah, yeah, over here on the grassy bluff, but how? how? Hmm. I was thinking it was maybe that area, but... I don't know, because yeah, yeah, there's a forlorn right there. And uh, collecting the Forlorn seemed to be what our main objective is in the game. So we need to focus on getting those. Okay. This is super interesting as some textures glitch out over there. Okay, this might be how we get up there to that cliff. Forest campfire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the textures like, like glitching out in this game. I'm not sure what this is made in. Is it Unity? The Traveler spoke. You ever had roast frog, friend? I miss a good roast frog. Oh, how they crackle. You want me to roast you a frog? Forsaken, trying to keep pace. The stranger had been forgotten. Oh, did their friends leave them behind, basically? That's sad if so. Oh, wait, no, you look like you're correct. And I imagine this thing in the middle turns them? Oh. Oh, it turns all of them. It does. Okay, so... Yeah, they no. Tried to follow as best they could. Hmm. But no one heard them when they fell behind. Maybe like this? No, because that just turns both of you. I need to turn you some more. But I don't want to mess you two up. Is the problem. Hmm. Okay, now you two are correct. Hmm. Okay, I think I see what I've got to do here. I've got to make it so you guys are on, like, the same wavelength here. So... Let's do... That. And then take you off, and then turn all of you. There you go. Right? All right, that was simpler than I was making it. But we did it. Get out of here, Cage. I gotta free this lost soul, don't you know? There you go, friends. The stranger looked at Ember with surprise. Someone came back for me. Thank you. Well, there you go. I freed you. The stranger looked at Ember with surprise. Someone came back for me. Thank you. All right. Okay, so we got that one. Yeah, I like the little, like, um, kind of separated puzzle areas. I, I, I really like that. It's just super neat. I always like just little challenge areas like that. I, I really liked the, um, shrines in Breath of the Wild for that reason. The pond. Hello, what's in here? Uh... Okay. Well, there's a forlorn in here, so... Hmm. 
Not sure what good that does me. I can't get into the water, right? No. And I can't climb up here? No. Alright, so we must have to access this from like a different area. And it does something for us. Uh, glitchy textures. Alright, so jump, jump, jump. You sound like you're having a good time, friend. Alrighty. Barely visible through the murky water was the shadow of something hiding, and on a small pier with barely a sound, a lonely fisherman sat. Man, he's got an interesting hat. He has a very, very interesting hat. Okay, how do I get over to him, though? Not totally sure. Uh... Hi, frog friends. Oh, hello. You're leading me somewhere. The traveler said, You sailed in here. Where's your boat? Friend, you need a boat. Go see the builder in the caves. Tell them I'm sorry I never came back. Hmm. Okay. So you're telling me I need a boat before I can do this? But also there's a forlorn right here. So... I'm gonna go ahead and grab you. Yeah, that's another thing this reminds me of. Uh, Captain Toad's treasure the tracker. had blazed their own path. Created their own rock, their own islands. Hmm. I can't climb up ladders with this, right? No. Um. Okay, so this is what I need to do. So I do you and. Um. They did not need Ember's kindness. Maybe not, actually. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's how you do it. Ember stayed. Yeah. So we grab you, pull you across here, and then no. Should it ever be needed? Here we go. Pretty simple. Yeah, this is really this is really cool so far. I'm glad I decided to play this. Because I wasn't totally sold on the other game I was going to play, but this is like this is fantastic so far and definitely definitely up my alley. <laughs> So thank you to the commenter that reminded me to play this. I don't remember your full name, but I remember something about Mario, I think, so thank you. The stranger met Ember's eyes. The two shared a moment of silence. You're welcome, friend. And it doesn't seem like you have to, like, talk to them to tell them to go back to the, uh, other character or anything. They kind of just seem to stay there, because the last time I talked to that... I tried to talk to that, uh, other character again, they just said the same thing, basically. Oh, okay, yeah, this path. This probably gets us up to the cave. Uh, I'm just gonna leave you right there, I don't know what to do with you yet. The Ember was curious. Where did you wake up? I'm headed for the crossroads. It's not far, I think. I've heard there's a nest there. A safe place. Mm-hmm. A safe place at the crossroads, eh? The pond. This looks like something I can interact with, but I cannot. Ooh, let's go ahead and knock you down. I can get over here easily. The fisherman murmured quietly between soulful breaths. <laughs> The fisherman felt so useless. His former joys were hollow. Hmm. Sitting out there every day by the pond. Only the dark water to hear him talk. In that darkness, a glimmer flickered. Oh. Thoughts beating like a drum. I think I see what's gonna happen here. 
thought that went round and round. You'll probably blow the thing away if uh, I don't move you, right? Because I was wondering how this was going to work, because it seemed way too easy just to run past those things, but... Uh, I think this should be what I'm supposed to do. Right? I just gotta go back down here and grab you. Hello, friend. Let's go. Gotta get you back to the fisherman, I thought. All started with a frog. Every day by the pond, a constant reminder. Here you go, friend. brief moment, the fisherman struggled to speak. He looked at Embo, hopeful. The fisherman spoke softly. There's a frog in that pond. A big one. Saw him grow from a tadpole. We were friends of a sort. Spent every day side by side. Tell me more. So much better at fishing than me, that frog is catches them before I can bait them. Oh, it makes me feel useless some days. The fisherman sighed. I've wasted so much time feeling like this. The old man looked carefully at the pond, at their rod, at Ember. Well, listen to me here rambling on and on. It helps though, telling someone. Thank you, Ember. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. Catching something, huh? About the frog. You saw the frog? Did the frog mention me? You ask the frog about me, see what they say. Actually, no, just please don't tell the frog how much I talk about them. Uh, about your bait. Poor little worms. They didn't ask to be here, but how do you fish without them? One for me, one for the fishes. Slurp them down. About the fish. They say catching a fish isn't the point. So I tell myself that. I tell myself that a lot. About your hat. I chased old Blue Betty round this pond for years. Best days of my life catching that fish. Had to use myself as bait. Stuck on me head ever since. <laughs> so that's how you got it. Interesting. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. Okay, I don't really know what I would want this character to catch for me. Hmm. Uh, hi. The frog stared at Embo, its belly rumbling. Listen. Its eyes were fixed on Embo, but it seemed to mean no harm. Was this the frog that the fisherman spoke of? Embo could hardly ignore the rumbling from the frog's belly. The frog stared at Embo, its belly rumbling. Hmm. Maybe I need to catch a fish for you? And, uh, didn't give it to you because you seem very, very hungry, sir. Okay, I can't ask you to if catch you anything. you need help catching anything, you just ask. Hmm, I was hoping you would catch me a fish and then I could give the fish to the frog. But, uh, I cannot. And there wasn't anything we could do in there yet, I don't believe. Actually... Jumping across here? Yeah, no, we just... Uh, I need to get in there somehow. Is there a way to, like... What does that do? Okay, that... Okay, pressing A on it just makes me jump to it. And there wasn't anything in here, right? Yeah, all there was was this lever that we could... push that raised the platform, and that was basically it. 
Okay, so there must be something else around here that I can interact with in some way. That just led back to, yeah, that place. What's this? What is this? Can't get over there. So it's nothing. Alright, well then let's head back in here and see if there was a different path we could take potentially. I see this. I noticed the frog I left up there. It was like a thing here. Maybe if we make them face each other. Aha! Okay, I just ignored that frog because I was like, well, they told me I needed a boat here, so I must need a boat, but... Can I catch one of you, friends? Nope. Well, maybe the frog would want to eat a tinier frog. These could be the frog's kids. I don't want to do that to the frog. Alright, friend. I'm going to solve your troubles. Congested. Rearranging something the stranger something. stranger was trapped, caught in a maze. Okay, interesting gimmick here so far. Um, what do you do? Okay. Okay, this one's a bit more complicated than the other ones we've had. Okay, um... Yup. This one might, uh, throw me for a loop here. Okay. So, probably what I want to do... Is push you... Ah, uh, but I... Hmm, I don't know if that'll work. Not the way I'm thinking, at least. Okay, well, let's turn you... There. And... Up you go. Oh, but I can't... Well, I can go over there and pull it. Because I think you can pull it. I can pull you this way. Okay, and now what does turning that do? Aha! That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me either. Hmm. wonder if there's a way to lower this platform so I could maybe get it up there? Huh. <sighs> Cause, yeah, if I push you over there, I don't really think that's gonna help that much. Like, what I really need is to get that thing over there. Oh! Oh, I'm... Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. Uh... Let's... Pull you right there. Alrighty. And we can get you... Like this. It was hard to make sense of this place. It was. Believe me. Alright. Whoops. Um, so if we get you up here, see the problem is we can't push you down or anything like, like that. So you have to be facing the direction we need, and if I put you here, you're basically just going to be in the same spot this other one was. And thus not very useful to me. Um, okay, l let's focus on this other end for now, I think. Let's see if we can maybe solve some stuff over there and then come back to this other end, since I seem to be confused by this one. Hmm. Alright, uh... Well, you're in the way... ...right now, for sure. I can't really do much with you. Huh. I clearly need... ...to get one up here. Hmm. Yeah, this one's, uh, pretty rough. As far as difficulty goes. I'm having a hard time understanding what I need to be doing here. Like, pushing it all the way down there would accomplish nothing. Alright, well, back to, back to this part. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I can do that, but that'll just put you back in the spot you were before, and I'm not exactly sure. Hmm. Because what I need to do is I need to get this one over here, 
that's in the middle there now. I need to get that one up top, but be facing a different way. And I'm not totally sure how to do that. Like at all. So... I mean, I could do that, but that doesn't help me at all. Alright, well, now, now I'm basically just putting things back to the way they were at the very beginning, which I don't think is useful. Uh... Hmm. Alright, I'm, I'm pretty stumped right now, so I think we're gonna cut for a second, and, um... I'll see you once I make some sort of progress. Okay, that's something. I won't lie, it took me way longer than I'd care to admit to think about stacking them. <laughs> it, it took me a really, really long time to think, oh, maybe I can stack them. But yes, I can stack them. Now the question is, what do I do with this? Can I, can I still pull them from this way? Oh, I can. Okay, so... Maybe... No, not that. This. And... Let's try to get him over to that middle platform. I think, yes! Okay, this is what we're... Kept on closing. Yeah, I was... I was just trying everything, and then I was like, wait, can I stack them? Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. I can indeed stack them. And that was the solution this whole time. I had tried, like, every other configuration, I feel. That just hadn't crossed my mind yet, but here we are. So, there we go. And now I push you in there. And we can get back across there and flip the switches. Yeah, I was just missing a very integral part of the puzzle there. <laughs> Sometimes that happens with puzzles, though. Like, one particular thing just doesn't cross your mind. Like, you just don't think about it. Oh wait, I don't even need you, do I? I don't think I do. Yeah, no, the puzzle's done, it looks like. Yeah, we just walk over there and go up the ladder. Okay, never mind. I thought I had to get this one back over here too. Alright, there we go. Took way longer than I cared to admit, but um... We did it! And uh, that's what matters. That is definitely what matters. Come back to me, friend. The stranger's voice was hoarse. I just need some time, I think, to see things clearly. Alrighty, goodbye, friend. I saved you. Yay. Alright, so with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this first episode off here, so... I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of The Last Campfire, and I will see you next time.